Hey guys, Corey Frederick with Tyrant Wrestling. I'm sitting here with Jordan Fouth of Bishop McCourt. Um, and actually the recent, recently added the girls team, so that's awesome. But um, she was kind enough to join me today for an interview. I'm going to hit her with a bunch of questions so anybody watching can better get to know you. All right. When did you start wrestling? Um, I think I was like eight, eight-ish, seven. Now, was that before or was that before was that before or after girls wrestling really got popular? Like, was there a girls team back where you were wrestling or you were just like one of the gir only girls in, on the boys team? I was like the only girl in the whole area. And then it started to like more girls started coming and then it just grew. So how did you start wrestling? Um, my big brother okay. wrestled. So. So did your did anybody like in your your parents or uncles or anybody before did anybody ever wrestle or is it just your brother was the first wrestler in the family? Um, so I know my my dad wrestled in high school and my uncle wrestled, and that's about it. So what did they think though when their little daughter wanted to go wrestle and especially against all the boys? Um, my dad was all for it. Yeah, he loved it. But my mom, I, I. So this is kind of off topic, but. It was funny. I signed up for dance. The like it was like the first week I went, and I absolutely hated it. And we left dance early because my dad took me and he took me to wrestling signups. And ever since that same night, yeah. <laughs> did your mom know that he was doing that? No. What did she say when he got home? She wasn't too happy. Yeah. She spent a lot of money on those dance costumes. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does mom think about it now? She loves it. Yeah. Yeah. She's not worried about you anymore. No, <laughs> I don't think. Um, so prior to wrestling or even nowadays, what other sports or dance act, what else did you do? Yeah. So I did just about every sport they had soccer, um, track, softball, um, basketball, everything. Do you, are you strictly wrestling now? Yeah. Okay. At what point did you become wrestling only? Um, like seventh grade was my last year that I, like eighth grade, I decided to settle down. Um, I used to play soft, like I loved softball, but it was right in freestyle season. So once I started to love freestyle, I realized I didn't really have time for this anymore. So what was like the deciding moment though? Was it just all the success you were having in wrestling? Was it coach or dad said, hey, why don't you quit other sports? Like, why did you decide not to continue playing other sports? Well, actually, when I started coming to the compound, it just became like kind of addicting. And I realized... I don't know. I don't want to do this other stuff. I need, cool. to go, I need to go to wrestling practice. Now, what grade are you in now? Tenth. Okay. And then outside of wrestling, and I know most of you guys are, and gals, I know you're training so much and traveling and competing, but do you have any other hobbies or passions? What do you like to do when you're not wrestling? Um, I just like hanging out with family and friends. Oh, now, do you do the 5 a.m. workouts? I sure do. How far away do you live from the workout facility? Um, it takes like 20 minutes. Okay. So you got to get up earlier than 448. <laughs> yeah, I get off at about like 4.10. All right. Yeah. I don't pretend to be as committed as you guys, but this is my third week of getting up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym. <laughs> I don't know that it's gotten any easier, but my body is certainly waking up without an alarm some days. Yeah. So, but it's all about discipline, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So you're pretty accomplished, but tell me what your top accomplishments are that you're most proud of. Yeah. So probably Fargo. I was really happy with that. And then Royal Team Trials, this year I came short. I got third, but I was still really proud of it. And then not necessarily wrestling, me rest actively wrestling, but the sanctioning in PA. I yeah, to yeah that was recent, right? Yeah. Well, did that come as a complete shock to you or surprise, or were you guys kind of expecting it now? So a few years ago, they PA got this team together, and we, like, to start the push for it, and – I mean, we we did not think it was ever going to happen. And then they said 100 schools till they even start the vote. And I mean, that felt inc like so far because we were we were like three, and it just happened so fast. So because yeah, last year uh, that was the first year for McCourt to have a girls team, right? Mm -hmm. But it was club technically. Is that it was it was a club last year, and then this year it'll straight up be sanctioned. Or or the, yeah. the difference is you'll have a state tournament this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, you'll always be able to hang your hat on that, that you were part of that and sanctioning girls wrestling in Pennsylvania. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really cool. What are some goals or expectations you have for yourself? Um, yeah, so Fargo, of course, I want to win it. And then even looking towards next year, I just want to get my third high school state title and then 
wrap around to World Team Trials, I can make a World Team. What about uh, college? What do you think about for college? Do you have any ideas? Um, they're still adding programs. They took a couple away, but they're still adding programs. But is there anywhere you'd like to see at a program, or what programs are you the biggest fan of? Well, of course, we'd like to see Penn State, but that's probably not going to happen. So right now, Iowa. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then there's some, like, Life University in Georgia. Yeah. And little, littler schools, but. I got it. Yeah. Um, what do you want people to know about you outside of wrestling? Well, not outside of wrestling, but what do you want people to know about you that maybe they wouldn't know if they've never had a conversation with you and got to know you personally? Um, I feel like I'm just a fun person, just nice, fun. I don't know. Except for when you're the other girl that has to wrestle you. Yeah. <laughs> and in practice, I'm not always that, that nice and fun in practice. But other than that, yeah. So um, has Coach told you about – High school national or the tyrant folk style nationals? Yeah. You know there's a girls division? Yes. What happens if you win? I get some money. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get an NIL. If you become a champion, you'll get an NIL deal for at least 500 bucks. Yeah. Do you have any NIL deals now? I do not. I hope I'm your first. <laughs> I'll be there. So. All right. um, are you on social media? I am. What do you, can you tell people where they can find you? Yeah. So I have Instagram and it's just um, Jordan.Faust. So. So yeah. it's pretty easy. So I'll tag this video, and then hopefully, uh, how many followers do you have, you know? Like 2,000. 2,000? Not that many anymore. That's pretty good, though, isn't it? Not compared to most of the guys on the team, but that's okay. Are you at least the highest for the girls on the team? I am. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Good luck to you, and we'll see you soon.